hello. Hey, Tracy, how you doing? Candace, what's happening? Today, making some lamb. <coughs> Little Sibs, what's going on? Doing a nice uh, curry lamb. So, in my opinion, the most underrated spice out there sumac like it does not get nearly the level of attention and love that it deserves but if you don't have some sumac snag it put it in a pantry put a little bit in everything you'll thank me later so yeah we're doing some lamb doing some chicken the chicken's been browning in my uh new rub that i'm working on so uh yeah yeah real excited about that actually let me toss these on they've been browning and marinating for about a day Hey, Jennifer, how's it going? We're going to be running this on Phoebe today using uh, the Santa Maria. Once I get these thighs loaded up, I'll give you guys a little tour. But uh, yeah, this is uh, all that rub, all that flavor. How's everyone doing this Saturday? And uh, these are thighs, just some thighs here. How was I supposed to know it's dinner time? Like, that's not my fault. All right. Cool. So, here we are. I've never had lamb. Definitely, under yeah. Please, uh, <laughs> lamb, try it. So I'll run through what we're going to be adding in here. Some turmeric. Base tandoori seasoning. Like I mentioned, sumac. Get you some. If you don't have any, please, please, please get you some. Cumin. Curry powder. Salt. White onion, garlic. Well, Kells, yeah, come to Georgia. It's real easy. Yellow onion. Purple onion. We're going for all the onions if, uh, if you haven't seen here. <laughs> Green onion. <laughs> I, I'm, I mean it. Using some uh, Mandarin uh, olive oil. I got this from a local company here in Atlanta. Love them. And now I get to pull this stuff together. I actually didn't really figure out what I was going to do until just now because I was thinking about doing kebabs. I had some yogurt out. I was going to, uh, I've got some lamb marinating in yogurt for a different recipe. It's a lemongrass and ginger curry paste that you build with the yogurt. It's absolutely delicious. And I'll have this recipe up with like exact measurements or exact base measurements to start with. I know all this stuff says Spiceology. Guys, you can get whatever of these renditions you can in your area. I just dig Spiceology. They're the freshest that I've had. Not a plug, just what it is. Dylan, how you living, brother? See, thank you. Mm. And that turmeric, I'm telling you, you don't need a lot. So I'm just gonna get right up in there with it. That's it, that's all you need. Cumin. And, and you may notice we've got a lot of earthy flavors, a lot of earth tones and notes going on here, especially cumin. So cumin and turmeric, you don't need a lot of to get the point across. Yeah, I'll zoom more curry. There we are. Uh, there we go. Mix all this together here. Hey, Carmen, how you doing today? There we are. All 
Oh, I promised you guys a once over of a uh, Phoebe. So let's do that. There it is. Thighs right up top there. Drop that down in just a bit. Oh, congratulations on your first uh, pulled pork. I am making lamb. Doing a nice curried lamb. Mm, I wish you guys could smell this. I really do. That turmeric, the curry, the sumac really doing its thing. All right, let's get the lamb. Actually, let me mince up a few things first too. Toss one of these onions on. Shout out to Terry, brother. I've been putting this knife through its paces. Thank you so much for the amazing gift, man. Truly. So. We're gonna leave the little uh, heads on these. What I may do actually, as I'm thinking throughout the cook, at a point I know I'm gonna set the lamb on top of this. So I'm gonna go ahead and cross hatch and score the top just a little bit, almost like how you do a blooming onion. So that as it cooks, it spreads open, it gets hot and swells. And then when I set the lamb on top later on, those juices are coming up. So these are going right onto the back end of Phoebe. snip of these here love a good round head in love it hey from Sweden that's what's up now a little tip here when you're cooking with onions and you've got live fire like this you can toss the skins toss the buds into the fire it'll slow go and just add a nice little aroma as you cook Also great for keeping away mosquitoes. Just, just random, random stuff here. There we go. Take this back half here, toss this on. Everyone else having a pretty good day thus far? I love this. Beautiful little ribbons. Is it? Yeah. Service isn't wonderful out here, but uh, I do what I can with what I got. Don't worry, I'm going to save this live and uh, post it along with everything you need to recreate this at home. Uh, red onions here. Right. Oh, nice. What cut of lamb do you got going right now? This is uh, mine. And I started a little prep. I started to trim a little bit of the harder duck or the harder fat. I'm not tossing this. I'm actually gonna let this render down and make some lamb tallow. Absolutely amazing. It's just like beef tallow. You can make tallow out of most out of every uh, protein, really. It's really great for flavor. Lamb fat tastes absolutely amazing and you shouldn't toss it. So I mentioned earlier that I started a little prep work. 
this was all rolled like this when I got it. So butterflied just a bit. And the reason why you want to butterfly some of your thicker cuts like this, you get more surface area. So with more surface area, that gives you a, a larger plane, a larger cooking plane to add more salts, more rubs, more flavor, more seasoning. So just a little, a little thing to do. So we did that on this side. Like I said, I was thinking about doing kebab, so I left it semi-thick. Now I've got some really harder pieces over here, so I want this, when I fold it, this end to be my exterior, right? Because that's where I'm gonna use the heat to work in my favor. Look, cooking over a open fire like this, keeping those thicker portions of fat right here, help protect the meat, allows you to cook on those higher flames without burning the actual meat, letting that fat get a lot of the abuse. Yeah, you're good. Always, always make sure you've got a really sharp knife. I'm just gonna try to open up just a little more. Increase that surface area just a bit more. You have to cut deep. Just pull the meat gently and it'll ease out of the way. When you get those really hard pockets like this, you can go ahead and snip that out and put it to the side for your tallow. There we go. What age did I get in a barbecue? Um, that's a trippier question. Uh, I'd say I'm the oldest sibling, so I've always been cooking. I've always been into food. My grandfather would always take me out on his boat and we would go fishing. So he would do a lot of open fire cooks. He'd make a pit in the ground. We'd do like a red snapper and stuff like that over the open fire. So very young but i never thought of it as ever being anything that i could do for a living you know i never saw anyone doing it as a career as i was coming up thank you uh terry got me this knife uh, i love it it's got amazing weight great balance sharp very easy to maintain it's it's been my uh my immediate go-to as of late That's a nice little generous pinch of salt all around before I start adding anything else. Get some of that oil on the interior and exterior. And this won't take a very long time to cook either. We're you know, probably looking at about an hour and change. So, not too, too bad. That may seem like a lot of time to some people, but I'm used to cooking meats for, you know, 12 to 16 hours, so, yeah. No, there we go. So now, cap off our oil. And guys, if you're not cooking with beef fats or animal fats like that, or if you're not cooking with infused olive oils, give it a shot. It's worth it. You can make your own. If you need help making it, I'll put together a quick video. So now we've got our rub. You saw everything we put in there, but that curry, the color of it is just so powerful. There we go. Let's get it in those crevices. Lift so those creases open up. That's also a little tip. So if you see here, if you bend it open, see those creases open up, get in there. So when you're doing a dry rub like this, not something wet typically, you really wanna do that to open those creases up, make sure the rub, the spices, everything gets some. Same thing I do with my briskets. And I'm more concerned about making sure the interior is getting all of this because we salted the exterior and we're gonna roll this too. Oh, no. 
you can marinate jerk as long as you want to. <laughs> Best thing I can tell you, experiment, take notes. If you only did it for two hours, try four hours. If you only did it for four hours, try a day and see if you can tell the difference in flavor. Cooking is all about experimenting. That's all. I just happen to fail and recover a lot faster than most people. Hey, Lee boy, can't wait to get back to the UK. We'll be there before the year's over. <laughs> Definitely before the year's over. Garlic, microplane. Uh, this one did not get anything overnight. I have an overnight one going right now, which is in a yogurt, ginger, lemongrass, and um, onion marinade right now and it smells absolutely amazing the acids are really doing what they're supposed to do breaking everything down so uh yeah that that cook will be coming soon uh we're gonna film that uh i think tomorrow actually so yeah Add on. let's get some in there and if you get these off nubs that's fine chuck them in there you can't have enough garlic when it comes to this. You can't have enough garlic with a lot of dishes, at least in my opinion. You are 100% right that garlic will burn if grilling, but it's a good thing we're putting on the inside. Thank you for the uh, information though. Almost everything will burn when grilling if not properly hydrated or set up but uh, yeah. There we go. Let's throw this in there. Big chunk sauce out. Get one more. Why not? Oh, right on, Josh. I'm glad you enjoyed the recipe. I think we're gonna make a couple more of those. Uh, any particular cuts that you'd wanna see for the next batch of those uh, master built videos? Sometimes in here, checking out so uh, we can see, see what we can get put together. If you haven't guessed by now, I genuinely love garlic. Garlic and ginger. Garlic and ginger. Love them. And when you're working with curry dishes, definitely wear gloves. This thing will uh, stain your fingertips. I know all this looks so somewhat colorful, mainly messy, but it's worth it. It's definitely worth it. <clears throat> Remember I told, mentioned we're gonna wrap onto that fat. Um, coming to have some fun and get some work done, you know? Been uh, been invited out there by a few uh, important people, I suppose, and uh, yeah. All right, put this off to the side real quick. 
Let me go get my twine and then uh, we can tie that up. Will I be doing a meet and greet? Huh. Um, it really depends on COVID, to be perfectly honest with you. I have been wanting to do a meet and greet for a very long time, uh, especially whenever I pop in and out of LA. But, you know, it just doesn't ever seem like uh, it's in the cards. You know, I'm heading back to LA and the, the new mask mandate's really going. I've had a lot of things get postponed so uh we'll see if i can i promise you i most definitely will it's right. a lamb oof look at that it's a big one can't we do a lot with there we go there we are. I'm just tying this up to keep everything intact because if I put this on the on top of a uh, feed right now, it's just gonna pop right open. So trying to keep everything intact. And if you can tie shoes, you can truss and tie up a lamb or beef or anything. Any more details on the London trip? Um, none that I can give just yet, but when I can give more, I'll definitely make sure I give it with notice because uh, I am really trying to set up a meet and greet while I'm there. I'm also working on setting up distribution uh, for my rubs while there. So yeah, no worry, put in work. Tie off another batch of it all. Definitely makes some. It's a simple uh, recipe. It's full of flavor. I'm definitely gonna do a write up on it for everyone to check out if you're interested. Space out here. There we go. Meters parts. May do one lengthwise. I love uh I love what I do. I generally do, you know. I can't complain. I rub butts and play with fire for a living. It's uh it's a dream gig, man. It is a dream gig. And I get to share what little I know with those who are interested along the way. So yeah, why not? So a little more here. I keep it on the same seam. One thirty. Oh wow, that's that's late. My designer Alex uh, just 
added to the team. He's over in London. I'm hoping to catch up with him. There we go. All right. There we go. Right on. Bound. We're going this side down first. This is where all the fat is. Remember, we've got our onions, our garlic, all of our rubs and spices in there. Yeah, set this on. Okay. All right, let me uh, take these off. Whew. But there's the lamb, some onions, those thighs. It's gonna cook for about an hour, hour and a half. I'm gonna keep raising and lowering the heat throughout the process. There you go. There we are. Good deal. There we are. Yeah. The tree. Let's see here. Whew. Oh, grab a seat and then uh, enjoy my favorite part tending the fire. Let's see here. It has been a very uh, active day. Did some building for another fun campaign. This cook got more work to do. But yeah, that's that's roughly everything. Um, I'm gonna be raising and lowering the grates, doing this for about the next hour, hour and a half. Um, the thigh, the chicken thighs will definitely get done uh, before that. Then I'm going to add the remaining red onions, let those go. Um, it's a leg of lamb, Paul, um, boneless. And I'm going to finish it off with a tzatziki sauce. Uh, I got some fresh dill from the garden. I'm going to also add in some fresh mint from the garden too. Definitely worth doing. Some Mexican oregano, not fresh, dried, but it's worth it. Um, yeah. It's a lot, a lot of fun flavors in there. A lot of fun flavors, so. Oop, there we go, a little windy now. But that's the cook. Oh, thank you guys for hanging out with me. I, I appreciate it. And uh, I'm gonna get back to work. I'm gonna snag some photos to start this right up. If you have any questions that I missed, uh, shoot them in the DMs and I'll do my best to answer them while I've got this time. And yeah, it'll be a good old time. I appreciate it, guys. Take care.